Hello, I'm Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West Veterinary Hospital, and it is spring break, and gosh golly, I'm ready to take a trip. Emmy and I are getting ready to go to the beach. We're all set up but we need to make sure that we remember all the things we need to do when we travel with our pets. And that's what today's topic will be, is traveling with your pets. First thing is that we're either gonna be traveling on a plane or perhaps a train or in an automobile. So we'll start with the plane aspect first. It's a little more complicated. The first thing I would recommend is always contact the airline you're flying to make sure what their requirements are for traveling. First of all, they should probably be having a proof of vaccine. They'll need rabies vaccine and distemper vaccine, both for a dog or a cat, and they'll have to have what we call a health certificate. Some airlines don't require it. Some people don't check uh, when you check in uh, for your flight, but if you don't have it, you're not going to be able to bring the pet on the plane, so it could be a big problem. When you travel, whether it's with car or plane or train, you want to make sure that you have all the pet's needs. Their leash, their collars, their name tags, their pet food so you're not changing it. And it's even good, especially with car travel, to bring you know a, a water bottle or two along to make sure that you have that. When you travel on a plane, you have two options. One is if you have a big dog, it's going to be down in cargo. When a pet's in cargo, it's not the worst thing in the world. I've done this. Um, what I do, though, is I make sure that I tell the flight attendant that I have a dog coming onto the plane. Could she or he make sure that that pet is actually on board and to inform the pilot that we do have you know, a live animal in cargo because the pilot is the person who controls the temperature of that cargo hold. So those are good things to make sure that you remember. The other way to travel with your pet, oh, when you're having a pet on the plane or in cargo, you want to make sure that you have them in a hard-sided carrier. I like having a zip lock, zip tie, to make sure that that door's not going to open. Um, and I also like having all the information uh, that your name, address, your phone numbers, cell phone numbers, other contact numbers, taped physically to the, car the carrier itself. The other option of flying with your pet, of course, is in cabin. When you have a pet in cabin, it's probably better to use something like this, a soft-sided carrier. And soft-sided carriers are better for in the cabin because nothing can be over about nine inches tall. So this can collapse and it can fold in the pet would be a little more confined, but at least you would have the pet in the cabin with you. Another thing that we talk to people about is we don't recommend sedating a pet for any kind of airline travel. Some people still do, but we know that it drops their blood pressure, so we don't like that because they are going to be in a little bit lower pressure situation. So it's talk to your veterinarian regarding that, but we usually say no sedation, especially if the pet's pretty good being in its carrier and traveling with you. The other form, of course, is going into a car. Driving trips are very common, and when we do that, we can consider using the sedation types of things. It's not something that we recommend, but if a pet needs it, if they're anxious, then we do recommend that. We have two that we use. One is called Ace Promazine, which is a common and an older product that we use, and Diazepam is Valium. And sometimes that's all these pets need. These are kind of the older medications that we use for pets. The newer one is called Serenia. And Serenia actually will help take some of that anxiety away, but it's excellent if your pet drools or has nauseousness or even vomits on a car trip. So when you're traveling with your pet, the take home part is, is to make sure that you have everything pre-planned, your vaccine histories, your health certificates for, for flying, all of your things together, all of the pet's needs, toys, what have you, and have a great trip and have a great vacation. I'm Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West. Thank you for tuning in.